my name is Gay Sparks and my job role is catering manager. Um, mainly, I've been here 13 years now and the main reason I stay working in education is because I like the sheep. I like working with young people, I think they keep you young. <laughs> and um, the best innovation for food comes from young people. Because it's your ideas, you're the ones who are like, driving the future of what we're going to yeah. sell. So, yeah, working with students of your age and younger, I mean, I work with from three years old. For me, that's job satisfaction. Greatly. It's uh, impacted on the service, the way we can serve you your food, and the interaction that we can have with the students, because normally a couple of times a year, I'll do cooking with students where they can cook in walks and we create dishes together, we yeah. do red and steady cook, we can't do any of that this year. It's impacted the profit of the contract greatly because we haven't got as many students in college. So if they're not here in college, they're not spending their money, are they? So it's really affected the profit of the contract where we've had to change the contract with the college to necessitate the amount of income we've got at the moment. Right, so the menu changes all the time. I try and I do every single day send out an email to every single student. I don't know how many of you actually read it. <laughs> it tells you what is on the menu every single day. And I do send out an email that says I want you to pick a menu. So every, uh, I think once uh, every three weeks, you students can tell me what you want me to cook and put on the counter. Do I think it's easy? I've had people say to me, can I cook jollof rice like their mum? And they've given me their mum's recipe. You know, I've had various sort of nationality dishes that we probably don't cook because it's not something we would generally cook. So your ideas and say, oh, like from Polish or, you know, loads of different backgrounds. You give me ideas of dishes. I'll go out and buy the books and then we put them on the counter. Like, at the moment, I'm not getting a lot of interaction because I can't get out and spend as much time with the students as I would like to because of COVID. But yeah, if you can get that out to students and they come back and give me some feedback, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> on my first day here, yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, lovely. I came in and uh, David Ball, he used to be my client. Now, of course, uh, Ali is my client. She runs the catering contract now. Yeah, everybody made me really welcome. And I, I really enjoy working at this college. You're always enthusiastic. And you've always, you're not afraid to say what you mean. You know, with adults, you don't get that. Adults are very cagey and they're sort of like, don't want to insult you. <laughs> Whereas students, they just don't care. If they don't like something or they think you've done something wrong, they tell you straight. And I appreciate that. So working with other people. Mm -hmm. Actually, here at this college, we have a great team. And I know I have a great team because other managers come into my unit, ops managers, even the director, the man who owns catering comes here to everything. Okay, because he says my team are the best team. They're always cheerful, they never moan. Whatever I ask them to do, they just get on with it. Do you know what I mean? And they are, I mean, you have to work with people, you have to go work every day. Nobody wants to go work and be miserable, do they? So you've got to get on with the people you work with. They're looking for a job in catering. My advice, personally, I wouldn't bother going to college or university. If you're looking to be a chef and you're looking to work in catering, go and do the job. I started work when I was 15 um, and I worked for the Hilton Hotel in Edinburgh and that was where I started my training. And for me and for other people that I know, other chefs that I know, other people that work in catering, some have gone to university and some have gone straight into the job and done on-job training. And the people who progress well and earn the most money are the people who go on job training. I've worked all over the world. I've worked in Dubai, I've worked in France, I've worked in Italy. But, you know, it's a job that you can travel with. And then when you have children, like I did, you can stop travelling, you can get a job where you're based. But if you want to travel around, you can work on cruise ships. There's so much opportunity in hospitality. What do I enjoy doing when students are on around? I'll tell you what I don't enjoy, the paperwork. <laughs> but what I like to do when we're not busy is we get into the kitchen and we create stuff. So we create new menus and new dishes which we like for the students to try out to see if you like it. I mean, I love cooking. 
I couldn't do this job if I didn't like cooking. I go home from here and cook again. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean, cooking is my, it's not just my job, it's my passion. You know, and you have to be passionate about food to be able to make something that people want to eat. Um, well, I'll tell you, I like Monarchs. It's like a family here. They do look after everybody. They look after their students. And they really, really do want the best for people. Not just the staff, not just the students, but the staff as well. They're always willing to help us develop. And considering we are not actually paid by, by the college, we are an outside service. Um, they are supportive of us, and as I say, they help us, they help us, you know, with all the equipment we need. Just very supportive and a nice atmosphere to work in. You know, I'm offered jobs all the time, and for me to be here 13 years, it's got to be a nice place to work. No, no, just please all students, come in and use the canteen. If you want to talk to me, I'm not unapproachable. Just chat, can you get gay or can we have the manager? My phone number and email is everywhere. You know, anyone can come and talk to me. If you've got a problem with the food, you want to suggest something, you want to come and cook in the kitchen, come and let me know.